the trunk of a chef and a father. Backpack, old sneakers, and uh, a dirty cooler that I put my proteins in. And some wine here and there for my wife. I'm Chef Jerome, and I'm the culture citizen of DC. So we're here at Georgetown Butcher, a black-owned butcher shop right here in the heart of Georgetown. Today we're shopping for a couple of just things to see what we feel. You know, right now we're in the midst of uh, writing this recipe for our new concept, uh, Mahal, which is an open fire uh, barbecue. Um, one of the great things is it's gonna take American style barbecue as well as, you know, the Filipino side that I grew up with and kind of merge those two things together. The Georgetown cut is actually about a hybrid of skirt steak and flank, and it is black goo beef, so it is pretty tender when you cook it. Can I get like two pounds? Two pounds, yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, bro. Thank you. We got our meat, so we're gonna continue to explore Georgetown a little bit. Down here in the canal. Pretty much this canal has been shut down for about 10, 15 years. Earlier this year, we had our first canal boat come right through here. We've been adding on a lot of new uh, restaurants, as well as a lot of new just finds for everybody. You know, we have our shopping districts. We have a couple cool stores, um, furniture stores. Um, right down the street over here is uh, Georgetown University. But, you know, it's just a, a, a nice historic district. You know, we, we have a lot of cool things like we've seen the canal earlier. You know, we have the, still the old historic Georgetown sign right here. It used to be like the jewelry district in a sense, in there. And then a lot of shops, you know, we're, we're stopping by one of my uh, favorite sneaker boutiques. What do you think? I like them. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a summer. Are they super long though? Same material? Yep. It's the same, same exact jersey, just a flat. So we're here in Major at a family owned sneaker boutique here in the heart of Georgetown, uh, owned by my good friend Ducky. Um, I come here to pretty much check out shoes, pick up new releases, um, things for the family. Uh, we'll try to get out this weekend, man. <laughs> I got you. you. You should be back too. After the trip. All right. All right, Ducky, man. Uh, Thanks, yes, sir. Thank you. Yep. Um, we have this really awesome carryout culture here um, where we have some of our own delights like fried chicken and mumbo sauce. Um, depending on you know how you like it, you like it super sticky, super sweet, a little spicy, you have your own preferred carryout. You know, you can really bounce from place to place and, and, and get, a, get, get a great Ethiopian meal. Um, but we have a lot of great places. We have a lot of great Korean places in the city um, that are really making head waves, not only just in our city, but also in the, uh, the restaurant industry itself. We're here in Foggy Bottom, uh, coming into the, uh, the Black Food Hall. Just super awesome uh, shared food hall. They have a couple food concepts in there, uh, Piccoletto, uh, Pogi Boy, um, Rosab Bakery. Um, and then at night, they have a pretty cool bar and a pretty cool bar scene. Um, they bring in various DJs, uh, entertain, so it's like a cool, uh, chill atmosphere, honestly. So come on in and join me for a meal. So they actually kind of close this in and make it like a separate restaurant and run it throughout the evening. And then at night this turns into like a lounge bar type of thing. So awesome bar program again over here. Um, DJs and people just hang out, dance. Um, depending on the DJs and stuff like that, they'll have a night where they're like in here breakdancing. It's the wildest thing. Yeah. Here is the four ounce fiesta spaghetti with the two piece wings. Lechon koali, chicken panalo, and then that's for Pokey Boy. And I gave you guys two spicy banana ketchup that you could use for the wings. And then here we have for Piccoletto, we have the wild mushroom pasta, the truffle caucho e pepe that has gnocchi in it. Then we have shrimp scampi tagliatelle and then a peanut butter tagliatelle as well. Best cities for the best food, definitely DC. Um, you know, we have this emergence of just cultured food, immigrant style food, immigrant style comfort food, um, and everybody's telling their own story. Kids just got out of school. We're here in the Navy Yard and we're gonna grab some ice cream. You guys ready to grab some ice cream? Yeah! Let's go.
Navy Yard is a historic part of DC. Um, it houses a, a, a Navy base, um, as well as it's gone through a, a lot of changes. You know, back in the day when I was growing up, it used to be like a big industrial like warehouse place and you had the Navy bases and a couple of CD areas. Now we have like new apartments. Uh, me and my wife, we used to live down the street here and kind of seeing the development with Nats Park and all the additional things around it. Um, you know, we have our soccer stadium out of field down the street. We still have access to Capitol Hill. Um, we have all these cool local businesses here. Um, so the Navy Yards went through a super drastic change. So we're currently taking the time to focus on our new pop-up, Mahal, which essentially is um, a Filipino word with love. Um, and what we're doing is we're doing an open fire barbecue concept. And we'll be merging American style meats with uh, Filipino style flavors. So now we're here at Citizen M doing our Mahal pop-up. You know, a little bit of Filipino, a little bit of American barbecue. You can just popping up around the city, spare room, and various other places. You know, essentially what we did was a lot of skewers that focused on Filipino flavors. Charcoal and smoke fire behind it. Thank you guys for coming out, see you soon.